Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to explore the Knox Museum. So come along with me and see what we can see. At the time we visited the Henry Knox Museum, it was open Tuesday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. and Saturday, 10 to noon 15. As you see, the parking lot is a pretty good size and can accommodate quite a lot of vehicles. They do have the standard handicap parking spots. They also have these really neat reserved spots for combat wounded. Really nice touch. Now here are these little signs that are all over the property, including this one that says that this is to honor Henry Knox's military achievements. A permanent encampment site will be created with stockades and cannons for the museum's use for reenactors and demonstrations. Now the site will be located behind Montpellier with the encampment and tent platforms outside the Elia next to the Oval Garden. Now the stockade and cannons will be behind the encampment site. Now to access the museum, just follow the museum entrance, which is the Paul W. Boyd Memorial Walkway. At the time of our visit, here's the cost of the guided tour that you do have to pay at the Knox Museum gift shop. The tour guide that we had today, she was very nice, very knowledgeable about Henry Knox, the building, the history. We really learned a lot uh, going through here, thanks to this tour guide. The building you see today, the Knox Museum, is actually a reconstruction that was built in 1929 from the original 1794 building diagrams. The 1794 building fell into disrepair and was eventually demolished for the construction of the Thomaston Railroad in 1871. Henry Knox served as the Secretary of War under George Washington for about five years. After that time, he decided to leave that political life and live out his dream of becoming a gentleman farmer just like his dear friends George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Henry Knox's wife, Lucy, had inherited land from her maternal grandfather. This is where the very luxurious estate, Montpierre, was erected. The 1794 building was their home for many years and was essentially built for Lucy as a gift to her since she was constantly moving during the war that Henry Knox served in. Henry Knox named the house Montpellier in honor of France's support during the Revolutionary War.
And when visiting the Knox Museum on Pierre, don't forget to go outside and explore the beautiful landscape and acreage. <laughs>